Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. Super quick announcement before getting out with the video. Um, I had got a lot of requests to make a Discord server, and I did, because I'm a good little boy. I shouldn't phrase like that, this is going on the internet. Anyway, the link to my Discord server is in the description if you want to join. Uh, it's just a bunch of nice people chatting, and that's about it, so you'll probably enjoy it. Guys, I have really bad news. I have no idea what I'm doing. I know I keep talking about how I need to get better with like forgetting what I was doing. I haven't played on this file in what, what like two weeks. I'm lost and afraid and confused. I did get some honey though and a duck feather. I always tell myself I need to go back and watch the last episode to get up to date so I know what I'm doing. Uh, and I didn't do that. I do remember trying to get bee houses and that being the absolute main goal. Let's see, I, I put fertilizer on all these puppies down here, so those should grow soon. Oh, I'm gonna need a ton of tappers. That's what it is. I need a ton of tappers. That means I'm gonna need a lot of wood. Uh-oh. Well, I do have some. Let's see, what is- does bee houses- that's not English. Do bee houses- yeah, only wood, no stone. Okay. Can I make any more bee houses? Probably. How many can I make? Can I make both? All right, two bee houses. We're not that poor anymore. Uh, so that's kind of sick. Here we go. Okay, what is the best course of action today? We need a ton of wood. We need a ton of wood. Robbins is closed, so not that. We got our one sturgeon in here. I should name him. I should name this little boy. You will be... Randall. Everybody say hi to Randall. It's raining so we don't have to water our crops, so I guess it would be smartest to just go straight to the mines. Or, no, that's dumb. We should go to the mines while we have full energy. I should have put these eggs in the mayonnaise machines, but I'm a fool. The main thing I want to do today is I want to I want to figure out what we're planning here with farm design. I want to get I want to get some design features down. I do I speak? Can I speak English? Maybe. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Those preserve jars are uh, not doing much. Let's throw some salmon berries in there because I don't know. Don't eat them, you idiot. Farm design doesn't require much energy, so while we have this energy surplus from not having to water crops, it's probably smartest to go to the mines, and we're gonna need a ton of copper for all our tappers, so I guess let's just spend the day grinding copper. What fun. I had the absolute luckiest moment of my life today. So there's this establishment that my friends and I like to go to called Putt-Putt Fun Zone. It sounds like the dumbest thing ever, but trust me, it is incredible. So Putt-Putt is basically this tiny mini golf course, um, which is nothing special, but you know, it's classic and I love me some mini golf. But inside they have a tiny little arcade in their lobby with uh, like 10 or so games and they have a little prize counter. I've been there a million times since I was eight years old and they have this one game called Slam a Winner where you put in one token you just hit a button and it drops a ball and there are a bunch of holes in this rotating disc with different number of tickets that you can get. And that's literally the entire game. It is not- it's no- it's no marvel of- I- Dude, I'm re I'm really struggling today. It's no marvel of machinery. It is a very simple game, but especially eight-year-old me could not- get enough of that shit. So I've played that game a million times and there's one jackpot that I was convinced was impossible to get because it's just I never got it and it's so ridiculously tight that like I wasn't even sure if the ball could fit through it. So anyways I played that game for the first time in a while today and I was looking off to the side and I just hit the, the drop button without really paying much attention and the ball went directly into the jackpot like not even like it bounced into it it like perfectly fell into the jackpot and I lost my mind so I got the jackpot and that was already like this is one of the luckiest things to ever happen to me and then I just left and went to play skee ball because we found this broken skee ball machine that kept giving me 10,000 points for no reason uh, and after some skee ball I went back over to the machine because I was showing my friend like oh look this is the this is the machine I got the jackpot on and I played it again and I got the jackpot a second time I got it twice in a row can you believe that? Anyways, the culmination of my efforts was a small tub of cotton candy and this little squishy alien ball that, ex that exploded in the car at home. And a sticky hand that I forgot about and it melted in my pocket. Overall, a good day. Plus, I got absolutely rocked in mini golf, so mixed experience. Mini golf? I don't know, I don't know what it is about mini golf, but I haven't met a single person in my life who does not get absolutely furious over a game of mini golf. 
it's such a simple game. It's just golf, but small. But like everybody I know, mini golf has like a direct line to their anger issues. It's crazy. What are my skills looking like? Oh wow, that's actually a lot higher than I expected. I'm a pretty well-rounded fellow. I need to figure out a different recording setup because as it is now, the my microphone boom arm like blocks the top right corner of the screen. So I have to like move my head to check what time it is, which is not ideal. I love arcades, man. You know those like super sweaty middle-aged men? who will just monopolize like one arcade machine at like a kid's arcade and kids will, like line up behind them and the guy will be like, I'm not done. I feel like I'm gonna become that guy and I'm really afraid for that day. Damn it. I should have waited to start the Subnautica series until I finished like Slime Rancher or something. Too many, too many balls in the air right now. Nope. All right, let's see. I, I have like 24 trees I'm gonna need tappers for. So that's like 48 copper bars. So I need 240 copper ore total. I also need a lot of coal. Shoot, man. Ah, uh, maybe I should just buy coal from Clint. That's so much money, though. And I like money. Do you guys want me to keep whining? Should I keep whining right in your ear? I'm sure everyone loves that. Need the burglar ring. Need that. All right, 1120. We can probably go one more. All right, last floor. What do you have? Oh, that's actually really good. You've done well, final floor. Wow, 172, that's really good. One might even go as far as to describe it as epic. Epic has to be one of the worst words ever. I don't know if this is gonna be a really controversial opinion, but epic is such a stupid, like no one has ever said epic in any way that isn't embarrassing. Like ironically, epic is a fantastic word. It's hilarious. But as an actual expression, the word epic is so terrible. How much co- I have two coal. Betty buy time. A healthy 2,500 gold. Okay, we're gonna buy coal today. I think that's a good call. Well, first we're gonna water our stupid, dumb, stupid plants. So we're gonna water the plants, check on our tappers, feed the ducks, and then we're gonna go buy some wood from Robin. We're gonna buy some coal from Clint. I guess we'll just spend the rest of the day designing our farm because we need to do that. This big planting area right here is really screwing with all of my all of my design ideas. This this wood border around is gonna go for sure. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna replace it with. All right, plants are watered. <gasps> Linus, thank you, sweetheart. A catfish from Linus. Are we actually friends with Linus? Oh, we are. Thank you, man. What types of paths do we have? I'm gonna really start thinking about this. Just classic cobblestone is always a winner. Love you, love you, love you. Love you. Love you. I'm surprised that like an auto petter isn't an item in the game yet because I feel like that would be so helpful. There's an auto grabber. I wish there was something that would like pet all your animals for you. Well, I guess that would remove the whole point of the idea that like giving your animals attention is worth it. It's kind of weird that like your ultimate goal in these kind of games is to not play. You know what I mean? Like your ultimate goal is for everything to be so convenient that you don't have to do anything. All right, we have some assorted pine tars and... Oak resin means we can make a second keg. We have 10, we can make 10 kegs. Actually we can because we're wood poor, but whatever. Okay, do we have any geodes? No, we have one artifact for Gunther. Okay, special quest, all right, shut up. Special quest board too, we should give that a look. I forgot that I need to be on the lookout for fall forageables. What do I need for the fall foraging bundle? That's crops. You stupid idiot. I need a mushroom and a hazelnut. Okay, well, there's a hazelnut. So now I just need a common mush. I should be good to go. We have a normal not special quest. Catching two catfish. I'll accept it, but I won't do it. Sorry, man. All right, what's up with the board? What's the what's the haps over here? Gus's famous omelet. I've got the urge to make my famous giant omelet, but I'll need two dozen eggs. In 12 days? Oh, I can do that for sure. What do I need? I need to gather 24 eggs and put the eggs in Gus's fridge. Okay, I can do that. Do duck eggs count? Maybe. I don't know. All right, Gunther. What's up, man? Blink. Okay, now I just need the red scroll, and we have our dwarvish translation guide, which is good. Until then, though, Clint, how much does coal cost? 
Oh god, 150 each? That's about all I can do. Okay, that'll have to do for now, I guess. That really, that hurts. Wow, that's, we're, and we're gonna spend pretty much all the rest on wood. Ah, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's a necessary evil. I just need to keep telling myself that. It will turn a profit someday. Plus, I really don't want to spend half of the episode farming for coal in the mines because your time is more valuable than that. What's up? Oh my god, I'm so tired. Wow, wood is cheap. Only 10 each. Okay, I should save some gold. I don't want to go completely broke. Okay, back down to 2,000. Now I can keep complaining about being poor. This is a win. Let's see how our tree forest is doing from last time. These are growing a lot quicker than I expected. Jeez, okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave that for a while. I should let it grow and then leave it so that it can, like, throw more seeds in the ground for me. I should do that. Okay, farm design. I don't know why I made a sound. I'm definitely not gonna have the patience to put up an actual graphic for that, so... I don't know why I did that. Grab our wood and our stone. Wow, we have very little stone, actually. That's gonna be a problem. Also, one of our mahogany trees is done. Yay. This path right here, this has to go. This is really gross. I'm thinking, like, stone paths for this, like, ring around the rosy. For this ring around our little planting area, because I don't want to make it also wood, because then it'll just merge with the path outside my house, and we can't have that. And just like that, we're out of stone. Uh-oh. Well, well, I already like the stone. It already looks better, in my opinion. I think it looks less stupid and dumb and bad, which is um, a plus, in my opinion. Gold burn, dude. Okay, we need more stone. So I guess let's run to the mines and grab some stone real quick. Okay, what I think is gonna be the smartest method for getting stone is gonna be... I guess just breaking these- and I also need copper, so I might as well get that while I'm here. I think the move is gonna be breaking these gray rocks, and, um, especially breaking the giant rocks. Stop. Hopefully this episode will have a lot of farm progress on it, so if people skip this episode, they'll go to the next one and be like, Wait, what happened? It looks so good! And then they'll come back and watch this one, and then watch me talking about arcades for 20 minutes like an idiot. Ooh, this is good. Not you, you're not good. This is good. If you've been following my community posts, you'll know that I made a post a while back. Well, not a while, like a week. I made a post about fan art, uh, and quite a few of you actually sent me some very lovely fan art. Uh, one of which I even made my new channel icon because I couldn't stop looking at it because it looked so freaking sick. So a lot of you have sent in fan art. I'm gonna show like four or five of them every video from now on. There's a lot, so if you sent me uh, a picture and I and it's not one of these, don't worry, it's gonna get shown in a future episode. I'm just showing uh, all the ones I got, like about four at a time, and we'll slowly work through them all. So thank you so much for the fan art. It looks very nice. I am very flattered. You all are so talented. I am very impressed. So go comment and shower them with praise, but also me. Most of the praise should be directed at me. I am the star of the show. Let's not forget that. All right, that is it. We got another 63 copper ore and we got 153 stone. So hopefully tomorrow will be our big redecoration day. I was thinking the other day about what would be like the worst possible YouTube intro. Uh, and the best thing I could come up with is Alrighty gamer guys and gamer gals. <laughs> like tell me that's not the worst thing you've ever heard. I'm pretty proud of that one Anyway, sleepy time. All right fall the fourth fall the fourth be with you That doesn't work at all. What I just gonna keep the bean sign up forever. That's never leaving kind of forgot that was there Well, I mean I, like I got so used to seeing it that my brain started just like tuning it out and I like forgot that I made that Well either way, it's it's staying. Okay, so that's our little planting area and then I'm gonna have a, like, a stone path going down. The stone walkway floor is, like, nicer looking, but does that fit the beach theme? Probably not. Do I have, like, the stepping stone floor? I don't think I do. Maybe I should go to Robin's and buy that, because that would probably be good for, like, a beach beach vibe. I can make four more bee houses. That is my new measure of success. One, two, three, four. Four. Our bee empire is growing. We have a new mahogany tree. So that's exciting. Oops, that's exciting. Oh, I need to check on the animals. I almost forgot to do that again. I am just a disaster. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Oh wait, I need to hold on to the eggs. I forgot. I need to hold on to the eggs for 
for Gus. Shoot. Sorry. It's fine. I have like 12 days to do this. Make it work. I'm already like halfway there. Yeah, we're fine. Well, I'm not quite because I need to... Prick, dude. That one mayonnaise. That's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. Okay, let's buy those paths from Robin. Okay, we have Crystal Path. Which looks great, but refined quartz. I don't know, we'll buy it anyway, that seems nice. Stepping stone, definitely. I did get the wood lamppost, didn't I? Okay, I wanna make that, for sure. Yeah, I need a battery pack, though. There's our mushroom. Yes, we can do that bundle today. There's another mushroom. Oh my god, it's a miracle. <laughs> maybe instead of these, like, hardwood paths around our farm, maybe we should do this, the stepping stones. What does the gravel path look like? Does it just look like that? Oops, nope. How about the stepping stones? What do these look like? Oh, that's kind of nice. If we do the stepping stones though, then this, this is gonna have to be, this can be wood, that's fine. Wow, we just put all these down. This is such a waste of energy. That one took a few tries. Yeah, that's a lot nicer. I like having the wood pads around the, the planting area. That looks good. This is our little planting area. And then for the stepping stone stuff. All right, so then we have this new stepping stone look that I personally think is just divine. All right, now let's reformat our fur, our fern eye. I'm thinking we make it like a loop. Should I get more furnaces? Ugh, I don't have enough stone. Yeah, no, that'll be a future project. We'll just make that whole loop like a furnace. Not one single furnace, but many, many fern eye. Okay, and then we're gonna have a little bee house zone over here. I'm supposed to be watering this thing. God, I keep forgetting. I'm supposed to be watering the fairy roses. Shoot, dude. I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna forget to water these every single day and they're never gonna grow. I'm calling it now. Shoot, that's really not good. So now those are over there. This is our... Oh, we have a diamond. Here's our little fish pond. What should we put around our fish pond? Stepping stones? And then we'll put stepping stones down here. Okay, that is about as far as we're gonna get for now, because we don't really have anything else down that way. So besides reformatting our tree farm, which I do want to do at some point, I think that's a good start for like a little farm remodel. Uh, it does, okay, now looking at it, it looks a little messy, mainly because I have like five different types of paths just kind of thrown everywhere, but I don't know. It's a good start. And with that, I'm going to bed. Got a scorching 210 gold. All right, I think I'm gonna end that one here. Ooh, and I see we have some caviar and a fish quest. So that's something to look forward to next time. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. I don't really care. That came out wrong. What I meant is that you can do whatever you want. Not that I don't care if you subscribe. Uh, I do care. It means a lot to me. Don't take that out of context, please. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in a few days. Goodbye. Goodbye.